to me as a physician scientist that this is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, medical advance in the last hundred years. He works for Pfizer and he says the company's coronavirus vaccine is 90% effective. So we begin tonight with the good news. Good evening. And it's not that the rest of the news is bad. There are just a lot of hurdles to overcome. Hurdles like getting it to the hundreds of millions who need it and, of course, getting FDA approval. In the meantime, though, the tri-state has an immediate problem. Hospitalizations from COVID-19 right now are surging. Local 12 Cessa Dottiero is live at UC Medical Center tonight with a warning from healthcare pros throughout our area. Tessa, good evening. Good evening, Kyle. To stay along the lines of good news, UC doctors tell me that it's not too late to turn our trend around in Hamilton County, but it's going to take work. They say that the positivity rate is at 8%, which is high, and they say that's directly corresponding to what's going on inside the hospitals. They say more than 300 people are hospitalized across the region. I think they've got this. It's a picture perfect day in November. Four retired friends took the opportunity to get together at a picnic in Eden Park. We're still having fun with each other and we're wearing a mask, we're distancing. The group says for them, hospitals filling up is a major concern. We have friends who unfortunately have done both, been home and had it, and also uh, have been on a ventilator for months. and. And that's really scary. Also enjoying the outdoors, 18 year old Celia Elfers. The Xavier freshman says her peers are wearing masks, but getting tired of all the guidelines. I honestly have not heard that many people talk about like how worried they are about like hospitals and all that, like filling up and COVID getting worse. Like so a lot of people are just kind of done with it. Dr. Richard Lofgren says that COVID fatigue could be a reason hospital patients are doubling every two weeks. By Thanksgiving, we'll have 690 patients and over 170 patients in the ICUs in our region alone. Lofgren says if we can't turn it around, it would result in us needing to think about deferring non-COVID care, which we recognize really uh, has had and would have adverse effect. Talk of a vaccine is giving people hope, but it won't clear out the ICUs. Broad distribution is not assured yet. <laughs> Efficacy is not yet assured. So I'm hoping that we'll have that. But in the meantime, this is our best weapon. Doctors report that more and more of their peers are in quarantine after community spread. So to make sure that our hospital and healthcare workers are staffed at the hospitals, experts say go back to the basics, masks and social distancing. For now, live at UC Medical Center, Tessa Tiro, Local 12 News. Back to you in the studio. All right, Tessa, a good reminder there. The stock market liked the news of the vaccine today as well. The Dow rose 834 points.